this is what a lot of people don't, a surprising number of people don't really understand about their own businesses. Um, what's that customer journey through your business from complete stranger to raving fan and repeat customer, right? right. So in, in this particular case, candidates, right? So um, I'm a job seeking candidate. I've never heard of your recruitment company before. I don't know if you can help me or how good you are or whatever. Um, I'm down at this end. Um, what are the steps? I would go to a whiteboard, and the first thing we do with customer clients, so we whiteboard this whole journey out from right. point A to point B. Um, and it's really not point A to point B. It's more like point A to point N. But um, and then we like a train, like a train line, right? So you've got Grand Central Station, which is your raving fan, blah blah blah. And then you've got the the out in the boondocks in the middle of nowhere. Um, how do we get them onto the train line first? Yeah. You know, and that's that lead magnet thing, the top ten, the top ten foods that are making you fat, right? That's the lead magnet to get them onto the train, and then the goal isn't to take them straight to Central Station. The goal is to take them to the next stop on the train line, and the next stop on the train line, and the next stop on the train line. Yeah. So, um, I would sit down on a whiteboard and go, "What is the customer journey through my business? Where are the little kind of critical points along the way? Where are the train stations along the way?" Um, and at each one of those critical points along the way, people are going to fall into three buckets: yes, right. no. Or not now. Yeah. So I would say probably 80, 90% are going to be in that not now bucket. So what are we doing with them, right? So what do we do with the yeses? Yeah. What do we do with the noes? And most importantly, what do we do with the not nows, right?